traders, love him or hate him, Donald Trump is the new president of America. And we're going to look at all the reaction to that and what that means for the markets. Welcome to Simply Forex, guys. If you want to improve as a trader, then you're definitely in the right place. Each week, I'm going to give you easy to follow trade ideas, tips and advice so you too can succeed at trading. And if you stay till the end of the vid, guys, I'm going to give you every one of my trade ideas for today. And if that sounds like a plan, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the notification button and everyone please smash the like button so guys let's start with the reaction to donald trump getting into power right and clearly the indices were the big winners right trump is very pro business i think he's already come out and announced that he's going to cut corporate tax which is great for business and then just look at the indices fly the nas is like kapow this is the day chart guys right um nas flying s p flying right just look at that look what trump does for business um, you know, he's going to have his haters and his knockers, but, you know, he is he is good for the indices. Um, Dow Jones, all of them guys are flying. So as a result of these indices flying, there has to be some losers, right? And because the indices have become so strong, um, we're in a very risk on environment. And risk on means, you know, there is optimism from investors. And if we have this optimism from investors, then the flight to safety currencies or safe haven currencies like yen, Swiss franc and gold, right, they all become weak. OK, these are risk off currencies. These become strong, but the environment we're in is risk on and therefore all of these become weak okay and this is the catalyst of some of our trade ideas for today um and let's just take a look at gold look how that has dropped right flight to safety you know if the indices are doing badly gold gold flies right indices do well you know gold has dropped like a stone and this is also down to us dollar strength right we did see some us dollar strength come into the market as well on the back of uh donald trump being elected so there's a there's lots of information to take in but it has led to some really good trade ideas guys right so let's start with the risk um on trades okay and these flight to safety pairs so let's start with US dollar yen, because as I said, guys, we've got US dollar strength and yen flight to safety weakness. So US dollar yen makes sense that this would be a buying opportunity, right? So this is our first trade idea, US dollar yen, we're looking to buy this pair, right? And as you can see, guys, this is the day chart. Um, we're in an uptrend, okay? And then we had this super bullish candle you know, on the back of Trump's election. Now, obviously, guys, we need to understand what's going on in the world. And, you know, unless you're under a rock, you you know it's the US elections. But I'm not going to let the fundamentals of the US elections guide me. I'm going to let what the charts tell me guide me. Hope that made sense. All right. And this is still a very good technical play, right? It makes sense on the chart. And like I said, guys, we're in an uptrend, okay? We have a very nice bullish candle and price has literally just bounced off of this moving average 20 and this area, this, this gray zone is an area of support. So we've got double whammy support in here as well. And all I'm trying to do, guys, is take it to the next psychological level. So I'll take it to 155 psychological level, then 156, et cetera. And then what am I looking for to enter the trade? So if we drop down to the H4, I'm just looking for a retrace. Now, price could retrace to here, okay? This previous resistance over here, this could be a good area to buy US dollar yen. Or, you know, you've got the moving average 20 moving up as well. I, you know, I'd even like a deeper retrace, perhaps even down to this gray zone through here, 
um, and the moving average 20, and this could be a good zone to start buying as well. Either way, I want to hide my stop loss down here. Okay, and here's my target. So make sure your risk to reward makes sense or build the trade. All right, but US dollar yen buys. So let's continue this yen weakness and this, this flight to safety weakness. And euro yen is a good buying opportunity as well, guys. Let's start with the day chart. Um, as you can see, right, we're still in this uptrend. We've, you know, we've just got into this sort of just sideways nothing, right? But we're in an uptrend and this is a good level of support here, right? And we had a pretty bullish candle from yesterday's elections. But what I need to see, and sorry guys, and yeah, this is my target, again, back up to the next psychological level, this 107, right? If we drop down to the H4, I do need to see a break. Because as you can see, yeah, look at look at this in all the technical economic books. They call this crappy price action. Yeah, if you looked up crappy price action, you'd see this. So what do we want to see? We need to see a break out of this. Okay. And then and only then do I have a trade. We get a H4 break, we get perhaps a retrace into here, we can then start buying Euro yen. All right, so yeah, they're the yen pairs that I'm looking at and yen weakness, right? Um, also, as I mentioned, Swiss franc, guys. This is a um, safe haven currency and it's, you know, it thrives in a risk off environment, but this is risk on. So Euro Swiss franc is a buy trade. All right, so again, let's understand why from a technical point of view as well. So if we just look at the day chart to start with, right? Um, on the day chart, you can see we were sort of, again, that's just crappy price action, but then bang, we were in an uptrend. And we still are, we're getting higher lows, it's low held, and we're getting higher heights. We're in an uptrend. And also we're bounce, you know, this wick, yeah, pretty volatile, yeah, US elections, of course, but this wick has bounced off this moving average 20, and this area of support as well. And potentially we could come all the way back up to this next area here. Now, if we drop down to the H4, it's a little bit scruffy, right? When you have volatile days like US election day, you know, look, look at this action, that's pretty scruffy. So again, all I'm looking for is a clear direction because for me guys, this is in a H4 downtrend currently, right? It is. Yeah, we've got lower lows, lower highs, right? So again, all I need to see is a break of this level. So if price comes up, we get a break of this level, perhaps a retrace, then we can start taking price higher with Euro Swiss franc. Uh, guys, can I just quickly say, I've got more trade ideas to show you, so please stay till the end. But if you're enjoying the analysis, please subscribe to the channel, smash the notification button and smash the like button. Please leave a comment letting me know uh, what trade you like or what trade you're looking at. Um, also, guys, don't forget to leave a comment. Yeah. Um, also, guys, there's more. Please come join our trading community. We've got the free Discord channel. It's free. Just come in, verify yourself. We have a great trading community. Um, and if you want a bit more than that and you want access to my trade signals, you want access to my strategies, tutorials, access to me, then please come join our VIP Trading Academy. And right now, we've got a great promotion where we'll give you free access if you sign up with one of our preferred brokers. It's as easy as that. It's a no-brainer, guys. Get involved. Um, also, guys, don't forget the live stream. Yeah, today, 7 a.m. New York EST time. Get all your questions ready for me. We might have some live trades. Come join me for that. Um, right, what else are we looking at? So, yeah, as I said, we, we are seeing a bit of US dollar strength as well. We had US dollar yen that we liked for buys. And I'm also liking New Zealand dollar, US dollar, right? But there's a bit of a caveat to this trade. So if we look at the day chart, guys, right, you can clearly see we are in this downtrend, right? 
it's a little bit of a scruffy downtrend, right? And then it just come to this sideways action. But then we got this big bearish candle off the back of the election yesterday, bouncing off the moving average 20 and bouncing off of this resistance level here as well, right? So nice area for a bounce. We got the bounce with this candle and we have room to move into, right? Back down to this 5,900 I would aim for. And let me just zoom out so you can see why that is a target, right? We've still got a little bit more room down to this level, okay? Um, right, so the caveat is this, okay? So on the H4, right, this is now the last lower high, right? So we've got high, lower high, and we're starting to see lower lows as well. So let me just start this from here, right? So we're in a H4 downtrend, we're getting lower highs, lower lows, but, this level has to hold, right? We're at the moving average 20. We've got this area of resistance through here. Yeah, I want to see a H4 candle that perhaps bounces back down a little bit and holds on to this level, right? Um, if, we, if we get a break of this level, because I'm actually in this trade, guys, right? And I started entering in here and in here. If we get a break of this level, I will close this trade early. Yeah, my stop is actually up here. All right, but I will close this trade early. So we will see what happens here with New Zealand US dollar. But if this level holds, again, I think this is a good selling opportunity. Okay. At this point, guys, it is worth pointing out this. So if we look at the economic calendar, right, you know, please, you know, you get so caught up in the US elections that you forget there is big news still coming out every day. And the big news is this, right? We've got the Fed interest rate decision, okay? So later on, guys, we must be aware of this coming out later this evening, all right? So they're expecting to drop it by 25 basis points. It'd be interesting to see what is actually done, you know, on the back of Trump, etc. cetera. Um, so this is a big figure for the US dollar. This could really dictate where the US dollar goes, right? So must be aware of this. Um, and also, I'm looking at one more trade, which is pound Aussie dollar. And again, right, there's still big news coming out, guys, right? So you need to be aware of the Bank of England interest rate decision as well. And this is identical, right? It's looking to drop it by 25 basis points. So we shall see. So if we go back to the charts now and back to this pound Aussie dollar idea, okay? Now... This is flying currently, okay? So if we look at the day chart, and it's almost hit target actually, so maybe this won't potentially be a trade, but this level here on the day chart was very important, right? It was holding, but then, you know, it's now broken. Normally I'd wait for this daily candle to break it, right? Okay, and then I'd get involved tomorrow, but I'm happy to be a little bit aggressive here because this H4 candle has clearly broken this level, right? Uh, the problem with it is, since we've been, you know, discussing uh, this video, guys, is that it's almost hit target already. And this 502 level would be my target. But if it doesn't hit that and we get a nice retrace, potentially back up to here, right, then I would also sell pound Aussie dollar. But again, remember, we got pound interest rate decision. And those guys are all of my trade ideas. So guys, um, please subscribe to the channel, share and like if you've enjoyed the analysis. Please come join me for the live stream today at 7am New York EST time and check out all the promotions we've got running for you. See you later, guys.